全ての D メールを打ち消していけば IBN5100 を俺が柳林神社で見つけた世界線へと戻ることができると。From what I've experienced so far, I'm confident that the IBN 500's disappearance from the lab wasn't too due to for theft. After all, I was sleeping at the lab, and whenever I wasn't allowed, another lab man was. The lab was occupied every hour of the day. It would have been impossible for someone to steal that heavy a computer without anyone noticing. It makes more sense to assume that the D-mail caused us to diverge from the world line where I found the IBN 500 at Yanbayashi Shrine. Ako ma de kaset da kedo mo. Watashi wa anta no setsumei da ke o moto ni handan shite iru kara. Moshi anta ga jizu gonin o shite itari, watashi o damasou to shite itari, mousou o tare naga shite ita bawai wa kono kaset wa akke naku hatan suru. This assistant of mine has no confidence in me at all. Kono kaset o. もう目的に信じてもらっても困る。保険はいくつかあるとはいえ、うかつな行動をとって、もしも罪になってしまったら、マユリを二度と助けられなくなるんだから。うん、I know that. IBN 5100の消えた原因なのかそれを突き止めるのが海を導くための近道ねわからないのはマイルの死ぬタイミングがちょうど24時間ずれたことだ確かに気になるなダイバージェンスが変わったことが関係してるのかなバタフライエフェクトの可能性があるそれならほんの些細な原因でも結果には大きな誤差が生じるとにかく慎重な行動が大切不用意なことはしない方がいい例えば一番危険なのはあんたが死ぬこと世界線を越えて記憶を継続できるのはおそらく岡部だけだからあんたが死んだらマユリも助けられなくなると思いなさい絶対に死なないでもしかして心配してくれているのかそれ誰とくそんなわけないでしょ勘違いするなつまり死ぬなって言ったのはあんたが貴重な被験者だからよそそうなの世界線うんぬんはともかくあんたのその何度もタイムリープしていながら記憶が継続してる脳ってのは脳科学史を塗り替えるくらい貴重なサンプルであってあんたの脳をマッピングして一体何がどうなってるのか助かめたい気分よだから引き続き実験をガンガンやってくれると私としても助かるわけタイムリープマシンはいわば私の研究の成果でもあるんだから落ち着け<笑>ピッシュー turns expression This assistant of mine can be so difficult sometimes Anyway 
I consider her hypothesis. In order to return to the world line where I found the IBN 500 at the Yanabayashi Shrine, we need to cancel the emails we've sent so far. The city is sound, and I've got nothing else to go on. I check the clock, it's 6.42pm. Only one hour until Mork is raid. I decide to time meet once more, it's the afternoon of the 13th, just before the time meet machine is completed. Christina, I take Chris's hand and grasp it for why is she getting mad at me? I just don't get this woman. Yes, dear. Why do you confuse me? With that, I leap 28 per hours into the past. Time leap complete. I'm standing in the lab as usual. My brain feels like it's been benched. I endure the pain as I check my watch. It's 1.47pm. Chris is almost done with the time leap machine, and Miley's almost done with Lukiko's costume. They should both be done in about 10 minutes. I leave the lab and sit on the bench in front of the Baranju workshop. Let's go over the plan. Cancel all the emails that have been changed that have changed the past so far. Of course, that includes emails sent by people other than me. Specifically, specifically, I'm not concerned. I'm only concerned with the demos that triggered reading Steiner. We sent several of them ex as experiments. For example, Operation Earth Stage Two, the lot of six experiment involved one such email. But the real problem is what the other people sent. Mighty and Kusu haven't sent any emails. Darius sent his past self a strategy to win the Fairest Cup, but Reddy Steiner didn't activate, so the versions must not have changed. That leaves three emails to deal with. Those sent by Moaka, Lukaku, and Fabes. The most problematic is the one Ferris sent, which is also the most recent. I have no idea what it said, so I don't know how to cancel it. Ferris's demo caused a dramatic change to Akima. All of the Moi stores disappeared. That's my own hint. I'm the only one who remembers how things were before the change, so I won't get an answer from Ferris even if I ask her directly. But still, I have to let at least try. I should get in touch with Echoes in my ears. Not connected. <laughs> Stab the end button or open up my mailbox. I'll write for some mail then. Just give it to her straight. I sent it. Afterwards, I sit and stare at the screen, waiting. I've already tried sending three mails and calling four or five times, but 30 minutes pass without a single response. Maybe Dad will have better on Yep, fine. Unable to hide my frustration, I storm off towards Vader's apartment. I arrived at the tall apartment building, soaked in sweat. I've been running an awful lot lately, it's made me realise how out of shape I really am. I wish I worked out more. It's this complex has an auto lock, so I'll have to call up from the lobby intercom. I enter the number for Ferris's apartment, and a man's camp voice soon replies. Judging by the voice, it's not Ferris's dad, but her butler. Oh, 
前に一度ここには遊びに来てますよおっしゃる通りでございますがやはり私からはお嬢様の居場所は申し出できませんお嬢様に直接ご連絡をお願いいたします He is obviously trying to end the conversation. So I panic to get the last word in. Fairy so Daishki, you're not going to retain this girl. They must have made him a snagger than this. Frustrated by this new turn of events, my anger threatens to boil over. Damn inflexible old geezer. I'll leave the lobby. May Queen Yan Yan doesn't exist on this world line. Fairy isn't responding to my calls or emails either. Where could she be? Come on, Daru, give me a hint, man. Hey, assistant? Someone! Uh, well, that's useless. Uh, nope. Deep. That's me out of ideas. Under the incandescent heat of the sun, I suddenly get an idea. Daru, if anyone knows where Ferris is, it'll be that stalker of it. God damn it, I just tried this. Nope. Come on, man. Oh. Hmm? It's awfully noisy on the other end of this phone. But I don't care. Dario! Fairies is now where you are. Here... Fairies? I want to get a call in a minute. I don't want to get a call now. If you can tell me about the place, I'll tell you about the place. If you have a place, I'll tell you about the place. Where are you? I'll tell you about the place. Where? どこにいる ?UPX の会場 UPX? なのか I'm standing right in front of UPX 会場とはなんだ今日はライネット AB グラちゃんの決勝戦なわけだがライネット AB グラちゃんライネットアクセスバトラーズグランドチャンピオンシップの略だろう日本中のライネッターが参加してる大会の決勝戦だおそこにフェイリスさんが出場してるちなみにフェイリスさんは今年冬のグラちゃんの優勝者でもあるんでディフェンディングチャンピオンこれ豆知識だ決勝戦で僕は今まさにそれを会場で観戦中つうか今まさにフェイリスさんがデュエル中なわけだが、so、今から行く何回だオカリンチケット持ってんの持っていないがなんとかなるだろうそれ無理警備がめっちゃ厳重だしテロ予告まがいの書き込みがアットちゃんにあったらしくてさきっとオカリンは入れない罠それなら外に出てきてくれ俺も UPX の前にいるお前のチケットを貸してほしいだが断る4時までには終わるから出待ちしてれば会えんじゃねおおい誰誰<笑>That inflexible bastard! Looks like I don't have a choice. All I can do is wait like Daru suggested. At 4 pm, tons of people spew out of the building. They're mostly parents with children, but there are also men and women in their 20s and 30s. Seems like a wide customer base. Some people are dressed in cosplay, and others are carrying Rynet goods and paper bags. They're the ones you'd expect to see here. Maybe I should try calling Ferris again. Come on, answer me. Why won't she answer? My frustration peaks. I tell myself to calm down, but it doesn't work. One obstacle after another, I'm on the verge of losing it here. I pace back and forth as I watch the ex exiting crowd. I try calling Daru again, but how is he even not- Why is he not even answering? Looks like I don't have a choice. I approach several men gathered near the UPX entrance. They've got tattered leather jackets and excessive silver accessories. Ah, the sort of people I usually hang out with. Lionetto champion of Fairies, son, wa. Ima doko ni iru ka shitte masu ka? Ah? They suddenly give me a dangerous look. Lionetto champion of Fairies, son. Huh? Kita ka yo, omae ra. The man tosses a girl a grin to the other members of his posse. Snobby, unpleasant laughter resounds. I struggle to suppress my anger. Now the man directs his grin towards me. Teme, ano moto champ no nakama ka. 
man who seems to whisper to Gala to shine, but what the fuck? Former champ? While I'm puzzling this out, my, the man suddenly steps right up into my face. <laughs> Something smashes into my forehead, starts to explode by my eyes. I fall to my back. It's hot above my brow, as if a branding iron was pressed to it. But that quickly fades to a dull throb. I finally realize that the nutcase headbutted me. What the hell? Why would he do that? Did I do something to this guy? Or is he a fearless hitter? I staggered to my feet. The man stoops to pick up his hat, which fell off when he headbutted me. That's when I see it. He rests on top of his head, with a small space devoid of hair. And where I could miss that? A bald spot? <laughs> あの娘に未だにチャンプオーバーにするやつがいることにな。いい。俺の前で二度とフェイリスなんて農眼中な女をチャンプと呼ぶ。それが嫌だというなら、ストリートシーンにおいてこの俺、黒の絶対レイドこ
I know it's a really cryptic question, but I can't think of a better way to put it. Time machine. There's Momos with a blank expression on her face. Time machine. She repeats the same phrase. Cersei's eyes gradually regain their brightness. And then, all at once, Kyoma. she presses up against me. She smells good. Cersei's cat ears took my nose. I go stiff, not knowing what to do about this sudden turn of events. Cersei looks up at me. She looks so desperate. I feel my heart pound fast. Time machine is really No, Billy stares at me even more intently as she's trying to see inside my soul. Just when I get the feeling she believed me way too easily, she suddenly starts clutching her head. Fairis then holds her head and looks at me with tears in her eyes. Does Fairis have reading Steiner too? I don't know, I need to find out, but how? Calm down, I need to think. Should I contact Grisha?